eccentric bolted bracket connection so this is the bracket connection type 1 top view a column connected with a bracket loading will be at this point this is called a bolt group so this point is called center of the bolt group here you can see bracket connected to a column with n number of bolts each bolt is subjected to two forces here F1 stands for a direct shear force F2 is a force which makes member to rotate so by that we can call it as a twisting force a direct shear force can be calculated with the formula F1 is equal to P by N P stands for force N stands for n number of bolts by that we can easily calculate a direct shear force acting on each bolt is equal to p by n next come to the twisting force where force in any bolt due to torque is proportional to its radial distance this is called radial distance every bolt will have a radial distance if you see all these bolts which bolt will have a maximum radial distance the far bolt from the center of the bolt group these four bolts will have a maximum radial distance next to that these bolts will have next to radial distances therefore we can say F2 will be directly proportional to radial distance. A distance increases, the force acting on that particular bolt will be more. So by that, F2 is directly proportional to R. So therefore, the torque about the center of rotation of the bolt group is calculated like this. So if you see the total resisting torque on this bolt group will be F2 is equal to P into E into R square by sorry R by summation of r square p stands for the force acting on bracket e stands for eccentrical distance from the load point to the center line of the bolt group r is a radial distance of each bolt summation of r square stands for radial distances of all bolts Therefore, F2 is equal to P into E into R max by summation of R square. What do you mean R max here? If we calculate force F2 with the maximum radial distance, it gives the maximum resisting twisting force on this group. So by that, these four bolts is having maximum radial distance by that we can consider r max of these four bolts therefore f2 is equal to p into e into r max by summation of r square so then what will be the resultant force acting on each bolt f1 is a direct force f2 is a twisting force so the resultant force will be root of 
f1 square plus f2 square plus 2 f1 f2 cos theta. What do you mean cos theta here? Angle of this bolt. The maximum radial distance of this bolt angle is called theta. So this is how we are going to calculate the resultant force. This resultant force should always be less than strength of bolt in terms of shear. If the shear strength of the bolt is greater than a resultant force, by that this bolt is this connection is safe. If the shear strength of this bolt is not greater than the resultant force acting on each bolt, so this eccentrical bracket connection is going to be failed. 